If you've ever been curious about bitcoins, we don't blame you. Unlike other forms of currency, you can't just physically hand someone a bitcoin, and yet they're supposedly of great value. That, coupled with the fact that we don't exactly learn about them in school, means that a lot of people have misconceptions about them. That we'll be clearing up in this video. We'll also explore some of the ways that bitcoins aren't the miraculous and perfectly pristine currency of the future that some people claim they are. Before we start, be sure to hit the subscribe button to get the latest from the hub. Let's start with the obvious question here. What is a Bitcoin? It's a type of cryptocurrency, or digital currency, meaning that it's not a physical thing that you can hold in your hand. It's the first type of crypto coin, and it was created in 2009 by a developer allegedly named Satoshi Nakamoto. We say allegedly because since then, he has disappeared and left behind his Bitcoin fortune, which definitely isn't sketchy or suspicious at all. You can keep your Bitcoins in hot storage, meaning that they're stored online. But this also means that they can end up being stolen, and there's no insurance like there is when you keep your traditional money at a traditional bank. You can also keep your Bitcoins offline in cold storage on your local hardware, but there is a problem with this as well. Losing access to that hardware means that you lose access to your Bitcoins, and when they're gone, they're gone. In fact, it's estimated that over $30 billion in Bitcoins have simply been lost forever due to this. Think about how many times you've forgotten your password, or how many times you've accidentally sent the money in your pockets through the wash. Yeah. Because they're stored and moved around digitally, that means that they can't be controlled by traditional financial institutions. This leads many people to avoid paying taxes on their money by keeping it in Bitcoins. Ownership of Bitcoins is recorded in a public log, but people are only identified by their wallet ID, meaning that their transactions are private. This means that Bitcoins can easily be used to procure items or services that are illegal. Remember in Breaking Bad how Walter needed to start a business in order to launder his ill-gotten gains? It turns out he could have saved a lot of time and effort by just investing in Bitcoins. Sure, the show would have been less exciting, but it might have been a happier ending for him. Although this aspect of Bitcoins leave them open for abuse from unscrupulous people, fans of Bitcoins argue that being able to control their own currency without involving banks, acting as a middleman, is a type of freedom that they can enjoy. Unlike traditional currency, the value of Bitcoin varies daily, and sometimes the unscrupulous users affect the price for everyone. Many people first became aware of Bitcoins in 2011, when criminal traders started buying up a huge batch of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin so that they could move money around secretly. This caused the value of Bitcoins to skyrocket. But again, the whole bad people moving money around secretly thing? If the idea of profiting because of the evil work of evil people makes you feel a bit icky, we don't blame you. There are other ways that Bitcoins can be exploited as well and one of them requires an explanation about Bitcoin mining. You can purchase Bitcoins, or you can mine them using your computer to solve a complex mathematical problem. Each Bitcoin math problem has a set of possible 64-digit solutions, and if you have a high-quality computer working around the clock, you can probably solve one in two or three days if we're being optimistic. That works out to a daily earning of about 50 to 75 cents per day, and after electricity costs, you're not coming out ahead. The real profit comes in when you invest in a large-scale operation. Running 36 powerful computers all at once can earn you about 500 bucks per day. Joining up other miners in order to maximize your hardware is how you take it to the next level, but this creates an exploitable situation. The organizer of the mining pool is responsible for dividing up the profit and can end up taking much more than their fair share. While your computer toils away and your electric meter spins, someone else can be unjustly profiting from it all. You can exchange your Bitcoins for cash online, and since these trades aren't regulated, they can end up going badly. Whether it's gross incompetence or malice on the part of those running it, it can mean you losing the Bitcoins that you've invested your money into. You can end up saying goodbye to your investment and there's no safety net in place to save you. Although it's unregulated now, governments are looking to change that so they can control the currency and ensure that it's taxed and monitored properly. Needless to say, the freedom of Bitcoins are a major draw. So if this happens, it can mean plummeting values as people sell off their shares quickly and Bitcoins become less appealing. There are some people who would gladly trade a little freedom for a little security, but there are many more who won't. When it comes to Bitcoins, do you feel that the benefits outweigh the risks? Or are you sticking with traditional forms of currency? Tell us what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching our video and be sure to subscribe for more. Bye for now.